Hey, good morning, beloved, and happy Friday. Congratulations, you made it to Friday. And may God bless you with a growing and fruitful faith in hope with love through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This week we've been talking about the word pictures from the Bible on the Holy Spirit, wind, fire, water, and today, uh, oil. Uh, the, the Bible uses the word oil, what we're very familiar with, to, to describe the Holy Spirit. And uh, especially in the Old Testament, two things, two purposes for oil. One was to, it was a source of light for the lamps, the olive oil. Wow. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the source of light. He's, he is where light comes from. And then the other one used more is for anointing. And the anointing oil, uh, first described in the book of Exodus as God gave Moses the formula for the anointing oil. It was, to, it was a fragrant oil. It was made from liquid myrrh. Oh, yeah. And cinnamon and uh, uh, other spices, and it had one sole purpose. It was to consecrate, it was to set aside everything it touched as holy. And that's what the Bible says, whatever the anointing oil touches becomes holy. And you see it in the New Testament when that uh, uh, lady broke that uh, expensive ointment uh, oil and, to, and anointed Jesus with it. And the fragrance, it says, filled the whole room. And so we see from those pictures that, that uh, the Holy Spirit's the source of light, the source of revelation uh, from, for the Word of God, to know God personally through faith in Jesus Christ and the revelation from the Holy Spirit and the fragrance of the Holy Spirit the beautiful aroma, pleasing to God. It has sacrifice in it, myrrh. And then, of course, whatever the Holy Spirit touches becomes holy. And so, beloved, and knowing the healing of oil, the, uh, 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 the application of oil, uh, the healing, fragrant, light-giving, making us holy work of the Holy Spirit. We all need it in more and more areas of our life. And so as I said yesterday, ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit today, understanding that that does not mean you get more of God poured into you. Oh no, it means He gets more of you as He rises up, as you trust Him more and more in more and more areas of your life. And remember, everything that He touches in your life, beloved, becomes holy, light-giving, and a fragrant aroma unto Him. Only God can make it happen. Make it happen today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Fill us with the Holy Spirit is our prayer in the name which is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and hallelujah.